always, Haas with Haas Games and Cards. And I hope you're all doing awesome because you all deserve it. What do we got going on today? Well, today we're going to talk about our favorite hot topic, uh, Prismatic Evolutions. Um, we're going to talk about where to pre-order it, where not to pre-order it. Kind of a little update on what it's been doing. Um, but if you guys have been liking the content lately, if you could do me a favor, um, this really helps out a lot. Bare minimum, uh, just take the 20 seconds it takes to like the video, subscribe, and then leave a comment. It can just be about anything. Just tell me about your cat or something. I don't know. Um, just whatever you want it to be <laughs> or what you're worried about with Pokemon lately. That's a good subject, too. And maybe we can talk about that later. later. Make a video about it. Um, but I appreciate you guys. I, I wanted to say thank you because in our last video um, about Prismatic Evolutions, we actually did really good. Um, I'm a small YouTuber. I don't have a lot of viewers. I don't have a lot of anything, right? And so that video, we well exceeded over a thousand views, which is minuscule to some people. But to me, that's huge. To me, that's really big because uh, we just don't... We just don't get that usually. <laughs> so I appreciate everyone watching. Um, it's so cool. And it was cool to interact with people in the comments. Um, it feels like the channel is starting to pick up some life. And that makes it fun and exciting. And so I definitely want to keep going with it. Definitely want to keep reaching you guys and more people. Um, it's been fun. So I just wanted to at least say thank you. Uh, before we dive into this. If you guys do feel like supporting in other ways, we do have product on our website. We are our own sponsors, HaasGamesAndCards.com, my friends, HaasGamesAndCards.com. Um, we do have pre-orders for Terrestrial Festival up on the website. Um, it is going to be the Japanese version of Prismatic Evolutions. It's a Japanese uh, high-class set, essentially. It has, of course, what we've always been talking, what we've been talking about lately, right? <laughs> Eevee, the evolutions, and their craziness. The craziness it's bringing to the hobby. Awesome arts like this. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this set. We got booster boxes and booster boxes coming in. So if you guys want to jump on in, rip some packs, have a fun time with that, get some boxes. You know, it'll be fun. And then what also helps our uh, helps us build up some funding for uh for allocations whether it's english or japanese so we do have our mystery product up um basically at worst you get a booster pack at best you can end up getting really cool things like this psa 10 lugia and there's other psa slabs in there psa 10 slabs um tons of sealed product and we actually added in woo, as i hit my mic surging sparks booster boxes are in it now so that is pretty cool. Um, Twilight Masquerade booster boxes, which have been going to the moon. 151 UPC. That's like a $250 thing now, I think. Pretty crazy. 151 ATBs. Stellar Crown, Shrouded Fable, Shiny Treasure, 151 Japanese, Paradox Rift 10s. All kinds of stuff, guys. All kinds of good things. Oh, look, I even added a picture. Look at that. We're on top of it. <laughs> um... But anyways, like I said, it just helps us out, and then someone's going to get something really cool at some point for really cheap, so I appreciate it. Oh, that's my cat. Hi, kitty cat. She always likes to come say hello during our recording. She'll leave me alone the entire time, right up until it's time to record. So, Prismatic Evolutions. It is causing waves. We thought Surging Sparks was hot. This is like the sun. <laughs> this is the sun. Um, way, way hotter, way like the hype. The hype for this is real. Hi, kitty cat. <laughs> All right. Um, the hype for this is real. If we remember, um, the ETB sold out in hours. It went from four quantity to two quantity to no quantity. Uh, the booster bundles, <clears throat> same thing. Booster bundles went pretty quick. I actually put myself in an order for one, and then I realized, oh, I'm moving soon. Um, I'm not going to have the same address, so I got to change the shipping address. And so I canceled out my order, and within the time I canceled out my order and made a new one with the correct address, I couldn't get it anymore. So, boom, that's gone. And then, 
the surprise box also gone. So very interesting, right? So it's like, well, where do we get this stuff? Well, here's the thing. Here's where not to get it. <laughs> here is where not to get it. Um, we'll start with that. But I mean, this set might be a little bit hard to find, but you will be able to find it with some timing and things like that. I think a lot of stores, there's a lot of stores doing pre-orders right now. They don't even know how much they're going to be able to get. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get. I'm not going to do any pre-orders on my website. I will get some, but I'm not going to do any pre-orders on my website till I know the exact number of what's going on. Because if there's anything I learned from Surging Sparks, um, when the hype is real and when, like... It's huge because we all thought Surging Sparks was huge. This is going to be bigger with more limited products. Um, you're not going to get what you need. <laughs> you're not. You're not. Distro will cut your crap and be like, nope, you're not getting nearly as much as what you need. So that's what happened with us. We had a good access ordered up. We're going to have some inventory. And then they're like, no, not happening. So um, I'm playing it very, very safe on this one. That means my pre-orders are going to come out late. Um, a lot of people are probably going to already have their stuff pre-ordered out and probably canceling a good fourth <laughs> of whatever orders they made up or maybe even canceling it to resell it at a higher price because that's what they've been doing lately too. Um, so I'm just playing it safe. I would rather make people happy, play it safe, not do any, anything crazy. Hi, Jade. I'm glad you're joining us. So sweet of you. Um, so, and plus the products are really staggered too. Like the ETB comes out with the poster, the binder collection, you know, things like that. Um, but the booster bundles come out way, way later after that. And the surprise box comes out even later than that too, I think. I wonder if this has the release date. Um, it doesn't really say, or I don't know. I'm not reading the whole thing. I'm just kind of quickly browsing it. So I probably missed it. Um, but yeah, so a weird staggered release. It's going to be weird to do. Yeah. This comes out mid January. The other one didn't even have a speculatory date. Um, it's going to be hard to do pre-orders because we're going to have to do several different pre-orders from what I would guess unless they do it all at once, but then just space out and space out shipping. But then that's weird, because I know with uh, with one of my distros, I have to order at least 200 bucks worth of stuff, which I will if they allow me, because I don't know how much I'm going to get allocated. Probably not a lot. <laughs> um, but like if the booster bundles come out, I get maybe one display case. I wouldn't qualify for free shipping. I pro they're probably going to make me order up a lot of random stuff with it is what's going to happen. And that happens a lot. That happens a lot in this uh, business. Like they will be like, we're going to get you a really good deal on these booster bundles, but we're also going to give you a lot of crap you don't want. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll take it either way. We need the inventory. We, we want it. We definitely want it. Um, so keep an eye out on these, right? Cause these are pure MSRP. Um, and it's going to be the, cheapest probably best way to find it the number one tip i'm going to give you guys today um just make pre-orders at msrp oh there's our dog daisy she's cute um make make orders at msrp uh anything at msrp is going to be a good deal um most places are going to sell above msrp i don't know if you guys remember 151 but every store in my area upsold it like crazy definitely sold it above MSRP and once it was gone it was gone and the only time I saw 151 again um was when Walmart would get like a random restock on it or the Costco tins or something you know and that was really spread out and sporadic and you just had to have some luck so I don't know if that was everybody's experience because maybe that's just in my state but in my state none of the stores had a continual supply of 151. You guys will have to let me know how it worked out for you. Let me know in the comments. Um, so that's my advice. For, like a lot of people are going to be torn up being like, I need to get the best deal I can. I need to get the best deal. 
and the best deal is going to look like, oh, the Elite Trainer box is going to maybe be $45 instead of $49. And then you're going to miss out pre-ordering anything because you're like, I need to wait for that deal. I need to wait for that deal to save like four bucks. <laughs> and I, I have to I have to get the best price possible because I need I need that lower cost. And then you're going to be waiting for like that four to five buck discount and then never get any of this. So my advice is any place you see it at MSRP, grab it. And I don't like shuttling away business to other people. But I mean, if there's if there's like a Walmart or something like or if wherever you're doing pre-orders and it's a trustworthy place and big box stores will get better stock than we do. Big box stores, Pokemon has been accommodating them lately a lot more. That's why there's less booster boxes. Um, big box stores will get this on a much regular basis than any local game store. So keep an eye out. Um, and, and just think about it. Like, is it really worth risking a few bucks to not get any of it? I mean, if you're going to, if you really want the set and you're going to rip it, that few bucks isn't going to matter. It doesn't really matter in the long run. Um, so keep an eye out. Pokemon Center will probably have the best deals, and I love... I mean, this is a great deal, too. The uh, the Pokemon Center ETB. You get two promos. One of them's a stamp promo. You know that stamp promo is going to be very costly. It's going to gain good value. 11 packs. And this set will not have booster boxes. No booster boxes, so it's really the best deal you can get other than just a normal ETB somewhere else for MSRP. So remember, guys, MSRP. If you see it for MSRP, get it, because once it releases, it's going to be hard to find an MSRP. So here's where not to get it, okay? TCG Player. <clears throat> Don't get it. Don't get it from TCG Player. Like, 50 bucks already for this set. And look, 50 bucks. You only get three booster packs. Yeah, sure, you get the promos and all that crap. But no, <laughs> no, that is just crazy. And people are buying these, too. I guess it's only a few people that put them up. That's brave. Oh, but like, but oh, my gosh, we'll have to get into that. But yeah, so you see this. It's 50 bucks when you know it's not going to be that that much money. And we'll we'll get into where what it will really cost. We'll get into that in a minute. We'll get into what it will really cost. But then here we go here. The ETB. The ETB isn't even... Like... <laughs> people are still going to figure out their allocations soon and be doing pre-orders of this. It, it, so it blows my mind. TCG player blows my mind. They have it up for 118 bucks. I cannot believe that. And it is selling. It is selling for 118 bucks. That blows my mind, friends. That blows my mind. Do not do this. Like, this is the this is why people scalp. Like, people are gonna keep scalping because people keep buying. Like, just have some patience. If you can't find anything, don't do this. It's not even the Pokemon Center. Maybe if it was the Pokemon Center ETB, I could understand that because buying it at 118, you get a few years or give it a few years. It's gonna end up being over 200 bucks. I mean, I get that. The Pokemon Center 151 uh, Elite Trainer box, that thing is already over. That thing's at 200 or over 200, and it did it within a year. So, I mean, did I buy some Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes 151 for 100 bucks? Absolutely, because I came into this hobby way too late to get them from the Pokemon Center. So, of course, I bought some at 100 because I was like, you know what? One year from now, it's going to be way more than 100. Five years from now, who knows where it's going to be? But <laughs> doing that with this, th this is going to come out and you're going to be able to find these at Walmart for 50 bucks. So don't do this, guys. Please, <laughs> please don't. Like, this is silly. Do not buy this for $118. Oh my goodness. Don't do it, guys. Please. Um, what else are they going crazy with? The binder collection. So you're telling me five booster packs for 100 bucks and a fancy binder. When we know when that thing hits Walmart, it's going to be 20 high 20s, low 30s. 
99 bucks. Guys, stop it. <laughs> stop it. You are all being bad. And someone bought one. Someone totally bought one. Don't do it. Guys, stop it. No. You're grounded. You're all grounded from doing this. You're all grounded. I can't believe that. That blows my mind. I didn't even see that. Um, you know, I looked at this page, uh, or I looked at the uh, the first page uh, before starting this video, but I didn't see those links to the other products below. Um, wow. <laughs> Just wow. This is pure FOMO, but this is what that set's going to do. And I did have this tab up for uh, the ETB. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Stop it. And then here's another place where not to do it, okay? So now we're looking at eBay. We are looking at eBay. Pokemon Center ETBs. Now, granted, don't get me wrong, I know the Pokemon Center ETBs are very, very hard to get. So you kind of you kind of got to weigh this one a little bit. You got to weigh it. Like, do you think you're going to be up at 6 o'clock in the morning when another... Pokemon Center ETB drop happens. Maybe, maybe not. Are you confident you can get it? Maybe, maybe not. Is this worth it? Is it worth... What's the math on that? Obviously, they want what, over 100 bucks an ETB for the Pokemon Center 4 case. Or case of 4. So, essentially what we're looking at is, again, kind of like what I talked about before. Is it worth you buying this right now? For over a hundred bucks an ETB, um, maybe, maybe not. That's where you got to figure out what your goals are. If it's just to rip them, I don't think so. I don't think so. But if it's to collect it and be like, hey, I want to hold on to it and see how much value it gains. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's dry. And like I said in the other video, my daughter gave me the plague from daycare. Um, is it worth being like, hey, you know what? I may not be able to get it from the Pokemon Center. Um, I know in a year they're going to be 200 bucks an ETB. So maybe like 600 bucks, a little over 600 bucks total. And then your five year goal on it is obviously more than that. Then I could almost see that being justified. You know, I could almost see that being justified. Maybe, maybe. Would I do it? No, I'm a gambling guy. I would definitely still wait for the Pokemon Center ones to pop up, and I'd try to get more. And if that didn't happen, then once release happened, then I'd see how much these are, because I bet at release this is going to dip down probably by 100 bucks, maybe. Anyways, it'll probably go down at release, and <clears throat> they'll be available, and people will... Oh man, this cat <laughs> getting hair all over me. Um... Anyways, so I think that if you wait till release time, it'll probably go down a bit and take the gamble to try to get it at normal MSRP. Um, but if you did buy this right now, I get it. I get it because I would have done the same thing with 151, knowing where 151 would go because it's the OGs. This is EVs. You kind of know where it's going. We saw where Moonbrion Moon Breon went, <clears throat> and the promo in this is super cool. So I could I could see that. Do I see it for like six ninety nine? Absolutely not. Do I see it for four fifty? That's closer. That's closer. Five hundred is like probably not. Probably not. But someone got it for three hundred bucks here. I think three hundred bucks is not bad. I mean, I would I would go for that. In a heartbeat, I would almost just buy that right now. <laughs> just because it's a guaranteed thing and it's not too much. It's not too bad. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you guys know where I'm at with this, right? If you can get it in the three-ish, maybe four, sure. Just because you know where it's going to go. But these people paying like 600 bucks, absolutely not. Stop it. Stop it. There's going to be different opportunities for that, too. So try to catch on the Pokemon Center. Try to catch it a little bit after release and see where these go. But right now with where it's at, unless you catch, like I said, in that three-ish to low four, then sure. But other than that, no. No. 
Stop it. Stop it. <clears throat> Let's see. I hope I didn't mute my mic. A place where it's pretty safe to get it. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is it. We were talking about this just a minute ago. This is the poster collection. TCG player. If we remember. Where'd it go? Poster collection. They want 50 bucks. 50 bucks for that. But GameStop is like, you know what? How about 15? How about 15? So like I said, guys, people are so obsessed with getting as much under MSRP as they can. But on these specialty sets, that's that's not the way to go. Um, people are just like, oh, man, yeah, 15 bucks. What if I could get it for 13? It's like, no, this is a good deal. This. Uh, this one, this one, this one, that one. This is not a good deal. That is a good deal. Not a good deal. Good deal. So, guys, stop buying from TCG Player right now on this. That's just crazy. Pick it up at GameStop. I don't even love GameStop. I really don't. But pick it up at GameStop. It is cheaper. <laughs> it is much cheaper. And like I said, any, anything at MSRP is a good deal. So now we have the ETB. Sorry, I don't mean to keep touching my face. My cat, like, haired the, or threw its hair at me. <laughs> Almost like a tarantula. Um, ah, the, you know what? These were up for pre-order. says coming soon. Hopefully more come up. But I think people are kind of catching wind. I think people are kind of catching wind that you can find these things at MSRP, and that's going to end up being one of the best deals you can get. Because your local game store is probably not going to do MSRP. Probably going to go over. But this was that MSRP. It's gone now. But here we go. Binder collection. Right here. Bam. TCG player said, hey, you know what? For $100, for $100, you can get these five packs in a binder. GameStop said, you know what? How about $30? $30? Bad deal. Good deal. Bad. Good. Do good. Do the good things. <laughs> um, please do the good things. 30 bucks, guys. 30 bucks. That's a no-brainer. Do MSRP. That even might be a little above MSRP, but still better than TCG Player. Um, just don't. Just don't. You guys know better. You guys know a lot better. Stay away from TCG Player. And there's going to be other shops. A lot of shops aren't doing their pre-orders yet. They will. They're coming up. I'll even do mine. I just will not do it until I know exactly what I'm getting. Um, just wait for those shops. The ones that you trust. But pick up some of these. These are for sure things. You're going to get them. So just pick some up. You'll be safe. And then you can pick some up more after that. And if you catch some at a few bucks off, good for you later. Do it. At least you have something just in case you don't. So that's where it's at, guys. That's where it's at. I don't think there's anywhere else right now that's posted that's like super, super good. But there will be more. I mean, Walmart will be doing them eventually. Best Buy has them on their website, but I don't think they've gone through pre-order yet. So there's that. Um, just play smart, guys. <laughs> you know what these should be uh, valued at. You very well know. So don't play that game. Don't play TCG players game. Just don't. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, we've been getting a good turnout lately. If you watched me just ramble on just now and got through it all, you're awesome. You're amazing. And honestly, I think this is going to be a fun set. Just be very diligent. But I hope you all have a good night. Don't do anything crazy.